To help climate smart agriculture reach more people and to help farmers adopt more climate smart practices, it's important that policymakers understand what's holding farmers back. Learning alliances enable a participatory process, which help the voice of farmers to reach high level policymakers through scenario guided dialogue, engaging stakeholders at every level, from grassroots to top policy management, around climate and gender related issues. And this is necessary. Even though there has been considerable progress to include climate change adaptation and mitigation in East African policy, there are still some constraints. Lack of coordination among policymakers. Limited technical capacity at every level. No clear gender and climate change implementation strategies. And limited allocation of funds. This lesson links evidence of effective, climate-smart agricultural practices already being used at community level to better inform decision-makers about what works and what doesn't. The results point to improved formulation of climate change policies, providing a tailored set of climate-smart adaptation measures that farmers can realistically adopt in their local context. The learning alliances work on different levels. The Climate Change Learning Alliance model includes everyone involved in making climate policy, including the farmers. It includes government officials, NGO staff, academia, national researchers, farmers' organizations, private sector and media groups. The different groups talk, share new information and build capacity among all members. They are linked at national, district and local level and have successfully encouraged sharing of funds and information. Participatory scenario-guided policy formulation helps local government officials understand climate and socioeconomic scenarios within their own context. A participatory and inclusive policy formulation makes policy formulation more bottom-up by involving grassroots, district and local level dialogue. Engaging and influencing high-level policy has led to improved awareness on gender-responsive policy and budget implementation at parliamentary level in Uganda and Tanzania.